Hey guys, and you are all welcome to this class. I'm um, in this class. I'm going to be teaching us how to take profit and stop loss. Basically, now what this helps you do is um you can determine the threshold of risk you want to take on a particular transaction, and then you can um set your take profit at that point, and then you can determine that okay. If I cannot take profit at this high point, when my currency begins to drop below this point, please sell it for me. Okay. Now this is the kind of um system that you will structure around your trade that helps you bring about a minimum risk and many times maximum reward. All right. So let's get on into our exchange. What you want to do first is download your Binance exchange by at this point a lot of you would have had it already because it's on the course i taught you how to set it up and everything on the course all right now the next thing i want you to do after you downloaded your binance exchanger is actually go on the exchanger okay go on the binance exchanger so what i'm going to do is open up my binance now it is important it is very important for us to understand that um take profit and stop loss happens with a particular currency pair okay and then most times it is wise for you to use a stable currency when i taught you um in the course how to set up your binance i told you that it's always important for you to have um a stable currency and in most cases it is important for you to have usdt or busd so that when you get a particular currency that you want to trade you can always tell the system all right sell my particular currency for usdt when it gets to this level of profit or sell it for usdt when it is um going below this level all right so you can determine that okay maybe a coin is valued at 10 naira all right and then there's prospect for that coin to go to 15 era all right now you can just set the system and tell the system that once this coin gets to 20 era please take profit i want to take 50 percent profit when it gets to 15 era and then the system automatically takes that profit for you and then to avoid so much loss you can also tell the system when it is falling below nine era please take um stop my loss so it's going to sell the coin to and give you usdt so that you will not lose so much if it's beginning to lose you will lose maybe one nera and have nine nera but if it's taking profit you would sell at um 15 nera or 20 nera to get 50 percent return on what your investment is this is the basic um structure around this and i'm about to teach you and trust me a lot of persons use it and it works for them i'm going to do another video where i show you how i pick my specific currency pair but right now let me get on into teaching you how to um take profit and stop loss all right now what you want to do is after you have opened your binance app you want to make sure that um you have upgraded your binance from the binance Lite to the binance pro i taught you how to do all of that on the course so please make sure you do that and then immediately you have done that you want to come to trades now i told you there's a way i pick my currency pairs but then i would do another video and explain that to you guys as the class proceeds all right so you need to get the course so that you can follow up progressively and then you can pick what currencies to begin to trade all right now this is what i like to this is what i like to do i come to trade that's the mid this middle one here and then i tap it okay once you tap trade you can see that the currency pair on this is ethereum against usdt ethereum against usdt now i always told you that on the course now that um you want to be very certain about the um the currency pair that you're using i like to use usdt because it's a stable coin so you can set a trade now with this system now this is your spot trading i explained what spot is on the course i explained what um everything here is on the course okay so you should get the course you should really get the course all right but then this is a free class and then if you decide not to get the course, this also helps you. Okay, so let's say we are trading Ethereum against the USDT. Now, the current price of Ethereum in the crypto market is this: is two thousand eight hundred and forty-seven dollars, rather. All right, and then I want to set a trade now. Now there are different options with which to trade. Remember that. Um. Also notice rather that in this trade interface in this trade interface this is your trade interface all right whenever you're trading this is your trade interface i explained all of this on the course content okay this is your trade interface now this is what you want to do you want to pay attention to the prompts here so there's a buy and then they sell 
So if you want to buy, you can tap buy. If you want to sell, you can tap sell. But remember that you are always selling to a stable coin. You can actually sell for another currency if you want. But I always advise, especially for beginners, always try to sell for a stable coin. Try to sell for a stable coin. So what I do is um I come to this spot interface, my spot trade, and then maybe I want to set a particular. I've gotten an information that Ethereum is going to do well. I've done my analysis, and then I showed you guys how to do your analysis on the course. Okay, I've done my analysis, and I know that Ethereum is going to do well. But also, I told you guys that um cryptocurrency trading most times, most times, seventy percent of the time, analysis work correctly. Okay, but there's also that thirty percent of the time where your analysis doesn't go too well and then you need something to help you um save your money so that you will not lose money completely now this is what i like to do whenever i come to this um this particular point okay i like to come here and pick the currency i want to trade that day somebody has told me that ethereum is going to do very well in the market today all right so if you want to sell immediately you can just use this and then just tap um i want to sell my ethereum I want to say let's say hundred dollar worth of my ethereum hundred dollar you just come here let me show you what to do you just come here and tap okay buy rather let's start with buy i want to buy hundred dollar worth of ethereum remember that you already have usdt in your wallet so once i tap hundred dollars here it shows me here what the value of ethereum i'll be getting is so $100 will give me 0 0.0351 Ethereum. And then if I want to proceed with this transaction, I just press buy here. I just tap buy and then automatically I will get that in my wallet. All right. And then it's exactly the same thing for sale. If I tap sell, I thought all of this already in the class, on the course. If I tap sell, I want to sell maybe, I already have Ethereum, but I want to have USDT in my wallet now. I can tap sell, sell my Ethereum for let's say i want to sell hundred dollar worth of my ethereum now once i tap sell hundred you can see that 0 0.3 0 0.035 worth of my ethereum will be sold 0 0.035 worth of my ethereum will be sold. the reason you are seeing the value changing from 100 to 99.85 is because the system actually takes a charge okay and it's really really small less than 200 naira, i think okay so once i do that i would have sold ethereum and get usdt if i press buy I would um buy ethereum with my us that USDT that i already have okay so that's how it works now let's go into the proper trading let's say for example i want somebody told me that um ethereum is going to hit 500 uh, um, let's say since it's 2800 today let's say it's going to hit 4000 today and i want to make sure even if i'm not online when it hits that 4000 i make profit and then in case it does not hit 4,000 and the analysis is go going the other way. If Ethereum is dropping below a particular level, I can stop my loss and then take my profit. Now, these markets have different options, okay? Market has different options. This limit you see here is option for your normal trading, buy and sell. So you sell one currency for the other currency and you buy one currency with the other currency. This is your normal trading and market option, okay? So you have 15 error, you take it to the market, you want to get a shirt, you give them 15 error, they give you shirt. This is the original market setting for that, all right? But what you want to do in that is you want to tap here, you want to tap this this prompt here that um, um, arrow that points down there once you tap it it's going to give you other options watch that all right now you see other options that limit which is the normal trade market this is you selling at what the market is selling at then stop limit okay now this stop limit and oco are the things i want you to focus on stop limit and oco are the things i want you to focus on now on this stop limit for example you can set a particular target and say if my currency gets to this point now we can see that ethereum is two thousand eight hundred dollars in the market today you can set a stop limit saying if ethereum gets to three thousand dollars please sell hundred dollar worth of ethereum for me and the market will execute that order the moment ethereum hits three thousand dollars let me show you this now all of these are better explained on the course trust me there's so much that you will learn on that course so much and the amazing thing is we keep uploading we keep upgrading we keep putting more stuff that we know would benefit you so it's really important for you to get the course all right now stop limits and other cancel order please make sure you are you are particular about how we got to this place okay so let's say for example i pick stop limits all right 
Now, what I'm telling the system is when my coin gets to this particular point, please sell $100 worth for me. Or sell, if you pick, now look at the percentage you are seeing here. Let's say, for example, I have, um, I have Ethereum in my wallet. If I pick sell 100% here, it's going to sell all my Ethereum. If I say, if I say um, sell or buy, buy or sell 50%, this 50% here is going to sell 50% for me, okay? So you can actually pick any amount you want, 50% or 25% or nothing at all, all right? So you can you can pick what percentage you want. Now, let's start with the buy order for your stop limit, okay? So I can say if Ethereum, if, maybe for example, Ethereum is going down, okay? Ethereum is going to go down. I can say if Ethereum goes below $2,500, buy Ethereum for me. So this is how you set that order, okay? Okay? 